In today's video, we're going to talk about a few add-ons that can help you with making sci-fi environments and assets with Blender. From crazy complex sci-fi dashboards, spaceships, weapons, you name it. So without further ado, let's jump right in. First of all, we have Simple Sci-Fi Pro, which can be great for creating sci-fi elements due to the insane amount of possibilities you have with it. It is essentially a Blender file packed with a ton of geometry node generators and d-packs that you can use for different things. What's crazy about the add-on is that you can very easily use it to generate displacement maps with full control over everything, using just sliders. What's even crazier is that you have the ability to extract optimized meshes from those displacement maps, and I find that to be incredibly useful. It is also worth mentioning that Simple Sci-Fi comes with a free version that will get you some very nice results. But if you want to leverage the full power of this tool, I encourage you to take a look at the Pro version simply because it offers an insane amount of flexibility. From the same developer we have Spock, which is a tool used to scatter sci-fi elements and inserts on top of your objects, not only randomly, no no no, you will do that in a smart way. It uses 10 advanced algorithms to efficiently pack different types of objects onto any selected faces on any object in your scene. The interesting thing is that it uses the same d-packs as simple sci-fi, so you are hitting two birds with the same stone. And if you're wondering about the difference between these two tools, I'll tell you. Spock is really good for creating structured and organized control panels in addition to sci-fi interiors while having a lot of control over the final layout of your instances. Unlike simple sci-fi, which is mainly used to create large-scale sci-fi elements, therefore giving you less control over the finer details. Generally speaking, using this add-on is a breeze. I was able to create rebels and some sci-fi panels within a couple of minutes or so really easily. And what's also great about it is that it uses a layered workflow, making it easy to add a lot of details. And don't worry because you don't have to texture every object manually because Spot comes with a large set of materials including an all-in-one material that can generate separate materials for you for every instance in your scene. Now talking about sci-fi ships, one of the best add-ons is called Starship Generator and it allows you to add randomly sci-fi spaceships to scenes inside Blender which can then be used in concept art or game development to create background 3D models, animations, and games. So the way it works is really simple. Add the Starship model to your scene from the Add menu to create different designs by changing a single seed number. You can also change the material of your Starship. Due to its speed and ease of use, this animal will be a huge help for concept artists and game developers. And of course, it has a lot of other features that you can check out for yourself if you want to. From the same developer, we have the Shipwright add-on, which allows you to dynamically create interesting looking objects such as spaceships and its parts. According to the developer, it uses big, medium, small design theory to automatically create sci-fi shapes and parts for further editing or sculpting, which is probably gonna be the case for most of you guys. And this allows you to automate the process of extruding and manipulating objects. Basically, this add-on allows you to do this to create a wide range of objects based on seed values. But it takes a few seconds for the add-on to recalculate with the default setup. And I would add to that, the changes you make in parameters will automatically update the model. You can also create objects that you can further edit and combine in Blender. So it is not limited, which gives you more possibilities. Next up, we have a very interesting add-on and a popular one, and it is called Random Flow. Random flow is used to randomly generate meshes on top of your objects within a short period of time, and people love it. It can be used to generate rebels, panels, plates, and any intricate hard surface details that you are probably thinking about. This add-on can be used for detailing your hard surface objects to give it a unique and kind of futuristic look or futuristic touch that will take a very long time to do manually. The great thing is that it comes absolutely packed with handy features to help you fine-tune the level of detail and plating of your surfaces. And it offers features such as random loop extrude, random panels, cells, scatter, tubes, cables, and the list goes on and on. 
We can't actually talk about sci-fi without talking about spaceships. That's why we have random starship. Well, this animal simply does what it says. It generates starships and spaceships. And it is as easy as it sounds, trust me. Making a spaceship from scratch is a lot of work. And it will take you countless hours of modeling and that's where this add-on comes in. Using geometry nodes, you have control over a lot of properties and controls to define the amount of plating and scattering of objects onto the ship. You have the option to select either a basic base mesh or a more intricate one by using the plating properties. And guess what? You can instantly get a different looking starship just by changing the random seed value. It also comes with a nice limit smooth feature that will help you achieve that organic special look to your starships which can be desired in some cases. Next up we have Cyperdex, which is a K-Pack meant to be used with the popular add-on KitOps Pro. This K-Pack will give you all the necessary inserts, tools and assets while creating very detailed sci-fi workstations. It contains various models and variations of keyboards, control panels, monitors, as well as a couple of sci-fi UI elements to add variety to your monitors and screens. And you will need a lot of that, trust me. So in order to use it, you first need to use it as a K-Pack inside the KitOps add-on settings. Now, you can access all the elements that come with the cyber decks inside KitOps, which is how to use it. And all you have to do is select the desired asset to load in your scene and simply place it when you see fit. And you'll be surprised how easy it is and how simple it is to come up with complex workstation designs using those detailed inserts just by dragging them into your scene. Me personally, it saved me an insane amount of time whenever I'm working on an interior scene, especially when working on sci-fi projects. And if you want animated sci-fi effects, we have Sci-Fi Elements, which is a Blender add-on designed to save your sanity when creating complex animated sci-fi elements, and it can do that for you easily. This add-on is basically a library of cool sci-fi elements that you can add to your futuristic environments or sci-fi hubs. It comes with cool effects like progress bars, lighting effects, and so much more. In addition, it comes with an element animation panel that makes animating these effects really easy with control over rotation, location, amplitude, and so much more. You can also tweak the materials by changing the glow noise, color, strength, and so on, which is a nice addition to have. And depending on the amount you want to spend on this add-on, you have the option to choose between three packages, offering different assets and effects. So you can choose between the basic, pro, and ultimate. Once again, from the creator of Spock, Simple Sci-Fi Pro and Cyberdax, we have KitOps Synth. First of all, Synth is part of the KitOps ecosystem, so you can use any K-Pack or D-Pack in conjunction with it. What this add-on does is that it uses advanced algorithms in addition to recipes to smartly place inserts on any target face selection. And one of the best parts about it is how easy to use it. You simply need to select the target faces, then load a recipe to generate exactly what you want, for example, desktop, sci-fi wall, or corridor, and finally press do it. And this is literally the entire process. When I used this add-on for the first time, I was stunned of how easy it is to get these amazing results. And this is not even the best part. After you generate your element, you can easily cycle through different variations just by clicking on do it, and this will give you a unique result each time. And there are many features and tools if you want to try the add-on for yourself. And if you want sci-fi materials, we have a library of fully procedural materials called Sci-Fi Hole. It will help you add configurable sci-fi paneling details to your meshes. The add-on comes with a bunch of materials which are compatible with both Cycles and EV, and you can use them on objects with UV map. It gives you the ability to hand paint where you want windows with massive values to appear in case you are trying to texture a futuristic building. And what's great about these materials is that you can easily customize them by tweaking the settings in the shader editor to suit your needs and your project's needs. And this will give you control over grid thickness, depth, panel wear amount, and scale in addition to control for windows such as seed, density, scale, width, round corners, and much more. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. 
I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.